Addy Saturn Army, Corporal Saturn here, and today, after I adjust my webcam, we are going to take on Team Aqua uh, in their own base. And here we go. Oh, I knew you'd come. Just make sure that the right mic is being used. Okay. Just, gotta, just had to be sure. You're the first punk ever to sneak into this hideout and make it this far. I never expected and I expected nothing less from a crumb like you. But I've got some bad news for you. We completely finished upgrading the ship. Look at that drill. As long as we've got that thing, we can KO this, the seal in the seafloor cabin with one punch. My bro Archie's in the ship. Come at me. If you can take me out fast, you might be able to catch up to him. Before you do, though, we'll settle. Oh. Okay. I'm heating up. I'm all fired up now! <laughs> Alright. Let's get it. This is our second battle with Matt. Aqua A the Moon Mate. Weighs six bulking mans. We lead off with the Golduck. And this Golduck has ice moves. Uh, this which makes it a threat. I don't think it has grass moves, but you never know. Alright, let's go ahead and hit this thing up with the Mega Evolved. Hit this thing up. Let's just let's hit it up with Earthquake. So I know there was no vlog yesterday, I'm, I'm pretty bad about that. Hopefully I'll be better about it when I'm back in college. But speaking of that, there will be a vlog probably... Either tomorrow or today. Um, but, oh good, no, so, no, so that's... That's great. That's, that, that's great. Gotta love hacks. Gotta love hacks. And of course, it uses a full restore. And watch, I'm, I'm gonna be asleep for the maximum amount of turns, and he's gonna pull some shit out, like a critical hit, grass move, or some shit. Watch. Yep, still asleep. Right. Wake up. There we go. Alright. That's not gonna do much of anything. Alright, not this thing with a hammer arm. Boom. Okay, that my speed fell, the gold bug is dead. Alright. Next up is gonna be Ferrothorn. Uh we uh what's in Firefly? Alright, and then I will hit up this thing with the heat wave. I think it probably has a, I think it will, it will probably have some dumb way to survive. Oh no, it, it, it's it's D E D dead. Right, next up is Barbarical. Send in Victory Bell. Okay. So Barbarical, water gra water sorry, water rock type. Easy picking for Victory Bell. Set that had the berry that weakens grass type attacks. Once again, I really wish that I, you know, I know it would probably make it easier, but I really do wish that the items were in the documentation so I could, you know, be better prepared for stuff like that. Anyway, um, I imagine this Sharpedo might be Mega. I don't know off the top of my head. Um, I hope we dodge the we dodge those. Get whipped survived with a focus sash and now it is faster which is bad uh, let's just go for sludge bomb the reason I'm doing that is because hopefully it'll either be enough to kill or I'll get a poison oh, come on really I don't even... okay whatever I'll just... whatever sludge bomb is a thing I will probably well I'm just... I'm not sort of like 3 HP oh no wow that did, that did nothing I hate hacks so much because that would only happen to me. It would happen to literally no one, nobody else. This thing's going to pick me apart. Yep, there it is. So fucking annoying. All right, well that thing is fast as all hell now. So my best shot is probably coming. 
Let's see. Uh, let's see. HP PP restore. I'll use a full restore on Cohen. I'll probably be able to take whatever hit this thing wants to throw. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll definitely take a Hydro Pump well. Yeah, okay. okay. I don't care that this thing is fast as hell. Um, I'm just gonna hit it up with a Hammer Arm. I'm still good. Alright. And the Sharpedo is down. Next it was Nido Queen. Um, we'll stay in. This thing is pretty bulky, so let's just go ahead and I guess we'll go for Surf. Ooh, eh, that'll hurt. That'll hurt. How oh, we lived. We live and we live and we win and we live and. That should, don't. I don't. Yeah, no, just barely survived. Um, let's go ahead and use another full restore. I probably should have used the full restore on Victory Bell now that I think about it. That was pretty idiotic that I didn't. Alright, now, I was very lucky that I didn't get this back defense drops. But even now, it doesn't really matter, even if I get it here. Oh. I think our power can drop respect. I'm actually like, yeah, I think it can. Either way, uh, five down and one to go. And that last one is Blastoise. I'm gonna send out. You know, let's. Send, I'm gonna send out Bronzong, and then I'm gonna heal up uh, my Victory Bell. This Bronzong is bulky, and I feel like Bronzong could definitely take any hit that this Blastoise has. Um, if he has a Mega, then this will definitely be it. Uh, let's see. Do I have any Max revives? Nope, just regular revives. Okay, that's fine. Um. Five. Yep, there's a mega. That's that's scary. That's that's really far. That's fucking scary. I should be able to eat that up. Nope. Okay. So let's see. That did about. Did a little bit over half. Did about ninety something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this thing up with Zen Headbutt. Except that will probably most likely kill me. Yep, there it is. That's fine, though. Okay, now I imagine this thing probably has Ice Beam, so... Unfortunately, Mega Blast Toys is a force to be reckoned with. Alright. No! No way! Are you fucking kidding? Really? I hate hacks. I hate hacks, because if I... Literally... When I need it, when I need hacks to not be a thing, the game's like, no, no, no. You know what? Let's let's take up more of your valuable time. Um, I don't want to waste another revive on Victory Bell, but I feel like I should. All right, I'll take that like a champion, or not. Um, all right, I'm gonna hit this thing up with a Moon Blast and hope to drop it special, or it could be faster than literally everything on my fucking team. Probably Sand Star Raptor. As you know, as a matter of fact, I'm just gonna send out Meme right now. And see, because Meme's been like. Alright, let's see if Meme can't come through. Uh, hit it up with the double edge. Damn it. And I'm dead now. Because. Yep, Blizzard's never gonna miss because, you know, the game. Next oh my god, this is bullshit! All right. All right, you got this. Please. Thank God. That was a trial. You met. Oh, that hurt just about. That just hurt. That hurt just about as. Ex oh my God! I can't read. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> bro. It's all on you now. So just talking to Archie, and that we were just a, it's just a diversion. We've been had. While we were battling it out, my bro Archie finished getting ready. I have only one hope, for my bro Archie to finish doing what he set out to do. That's all. My bro Archie is everything to me. I live to serve my bro. All right then. You took me out, so I'll give you an idea of what, 
the world will be like if my bro has his way. My bro Archie is headed out for the big Lucy that stretches out from Lily Cove City. Deep beneath the, the surface is the seafloor cavern. That's where the world my bro, my bro hopes to create. Where the beginnings of the primordial world will be felt. Regular people and Pokemon can't make it there, though. How could you get there? Why don't you look around the towns by the sea and use your own thick head to... Yeah. So, we're supposed to look in the sea beyond Lily Cove, which we couldn't do before because, um... Team Aqua was, was there. Guarding, but now... If we go out... Say goodbye to this good music, friends. Back in Lily Cove City. Now, we can actually go to the right now. Past Lily Cove, but I need to heal up my Pokemon because, dear lord, am I in some, am I in some shit right now. Alright, so I'm all healed up. I decided to teach Victory Bell Sunny Day and put it at the front of my party because we're going to be dealing with mostly water trainers on the route ahead. Um, repels are very useful. I'm going to be using them. And let's go. Now this, I should mention that this route is a lot more forgiving in the remakes than it is in, than in well, obviously in the original games. All right, uh, let's see, where are my repels? They're in the items pocket. Only have five left, have to be kind of sparing. But basically, I, um, if, by teaching Victory Bell Sunny, uh, Sunny Day, it also changes the type of weather ball from normal to, what's it called? Fire. So there, you see these little dark spots we can use, um, we can't do anything about those yet, but, uh, I'm not going to be actively seeking out trainers, but I will, um, you know, but I, you know, but I'm, I'm not going to try to dodge them, I guess. So, like, so the sea is pretty vast once we get past the Lico, because if we go down, we're on Route 126, and if we look at the, the map, there's this huge, huge area of sea that we can explore. Now there's, now, there's this huge area of, of uh, dark water. There's this white rock formation. I really can't do anything about that yet. We could continue to go south and go left, and we would get to a town. Oh, ah, there, there is a trainer there. Um, let's see, but if we continue to go... You see that there are these markings on the map. Those are for something different than our main objective. So we actually can't move on to the left without an uh, HM. I think we actually need to go to the to the right, and then oh, this was a train. Damn it! So this, I guess, this place is called Zatopolis City. All right, we beat Dean. We beat Swimmer Dean, and uh, you know, yeah, Sunny Day on Victory Bell is pretty broken. Anyway, we're going to try to so we're going to try to avoid the trainers. Keep swimming. Now we can't really go to the right, so I guess we, we can, but it's it's kind of convoluted the way we have to do it. So what you're really supposed to do is go up. Is from continue to go right from Mobile. There's a house up here I want to check out. Do you, hey, do you know what? Do you know what? I I don't. Let me explain that. Try using Cert with Sharpedo, and it'll go zooming fast, and it'll make you feel great. So yeah, that's, um, certain Pokemon have overworld sprites, um, while you're surfing. Sharpedo and Welmer are those Pokemon. Uh, so this guy will trade stuff for shards, stones, actually. Uh, actually, I probably should have sprayed another. Well, we're pretty close to the, our objective. I think it's actually literally directly to our right. Um, I will go ahead and spray another repel. It's actually not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea to explore most of the sea right now. Uh, as you can see, we've made it to Moss Deep City, which is um, our objective, which is our city of interest. Uh, but so let's go ahead and heal up at the Pokemon Center here. Right, we've all healed up. Uh, there's not a whole lot. Um, there's not a whole lot of stuff here at Moss Deep. There is a very important item which I, I will be picking up either at the end of this episode or at the beginning of the next one. 
Uh, but I'm just gonna kind of explore the ocean because like I said, there's this huge and you like you can see There's this huge block of ocean that we can explore So as Mosty, but if we go to the north We get to route 125 And then there's a cave up here Called the shoal cave We'll be visiting this place later. It's a, it's it's a, this, that whole area. It's it's a process. So I'm going to use a shortcut. I'm just going to fly to Moss Deep, and then we're going to surf straight down and to the left until we get to another city, and then we're going to probably call the episode right there. All right, here we go. So now we are on Route 127, and we want to go. Just, we want to go down. Like I said, I'm going to try to avoid the trainers as best I can. Remember this huge diving spot, because it is actually kind of important for a story event later on. Now we're on Route 128, and there's this massive land there, and I'm out of repel. That's great. On Route 129. I think that was a whale lord. Oh, I should have caught that. Let's keep going. I'm just gonna kind of keep going to the, to the left here. This is huge, huge dive spot. Route 130. There's a what I thought was that looked like I kind of swarm as a Pokemon Center, but I'm crazy. We are on Route 131 now. I should mention um, that I, if it seems like I'm rushing through this, it's not that I'm, it's not really it's not that I'm rushing. It's just that um, there's really nothing of interest on these routes other than wild Pokemon, and we really can't do much exploring until after we get a certain item. So, but I do recommend you know just, you know exploring the vast the vast ocean uh, just so you can you know basically fly to wherever you want in the ocean. But also, you know, it maybe if you want to, um, you know, maybe take care of these trainers. Um, you know, catch a- I would catch a- I would actually catch a whale lord right now if you can for an event later on. Those of you who have played this game or have, uh, you know, watched another video I did, you'll probably know what I'm talking about. But if we go all the way to the left, we'll get to a place called Pacific Logtown. This is where we wanted to end up, and if we go to- oh, hold on. So yeah, we'll look at the map. If we go to the- if we go this way, to the left, or east or west, we'll be end up back in Slateport. So we've actually come- we pretty much come full circle. Anyway, uh, yeah. So we, that's I, that's kind of all I wanted to do today. Um, like I said, we'll just there's nothing really here for us in Pacific Log. Um, the next main story event is in uh, Moss Deep, but you could definitely take this time to explore the ocean around um, that we now have complete and full access to. But I think that's going to end today's mission. Your next mission, did you choose to accept it, is to leave a like and a comment on this video, answer the comment question of the day. And with that being said, guys, I'm going to get up out of here. Peace out.